हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू ई क्लासेस ऑफ कॉमर्स स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्थ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट सोर्सेज ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट इन डिटेल इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो वी स्टडीड अबाउट दैट देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सोर्सेज ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट इंटरनल सोर्स ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट एंड एक्सटर्नल सोर्स ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट एंड वी ऑल्सो अंडरस्टूड द मीनिंग ऑफ बोथ इंटरनल सोर्स ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट मीन्स द रिक्रूटमेंट दैट इज डन within the organization and external source of recruitment that means recruitment that is done outside the organization so let's study both in detail so here in the picture we can see there are two types of sources internal sources and external sources in internal sources first is promotion second transfer third friends and relatives of employees fourth recalling retrenched employees fifth promotion with transfer sixth waiting list in external sources we have first through advertisement second through employment exchange third through educational institutions fourth through trade unions fifth through contractors and jobbers sixth recruitment at the gate seventh modern methods so Let's study the internal sources in detail. First point in internal sources is promotion. Here in the picture you can see and understand that promotion means a move towards higher position and advancement in the organization. Let's read the meaning of promotion and be more clear. Promotion means advancement of employee to a higher post with greater responsibilities and higher salary better service conditions and thus higher status so in internal source if any vacancy is there in the organization management decides to promote employee within the organization by seeing his abilities skills knowledge intelligence loyalty and honesty so giving promotion means increase in salary status authorities and responsibilities hence we can say that promotion refers to shifting of person to positions carrying better prestige higher responsibilities and more pay a promotion does not increase the number of persons in the organization but a person going to get a higher position will vacate his present position promotion will motivate employees to improve their performance so that they can also get promotion second point is transfer here in the picture you can see and understand that transfer means getting transferred from one department to another department within an organization let's read it a horizontal shifting of employees from one job to another without any job related increase in the pay benefits and status of the employees is called a transfer so if there is a need of more employees in any department then employees are transferred from one department to another department where there is a requirement of employees they are shifted from department where there were surplus employees they are transferred on the basis of the their qualifications so we can say that transfer involves shifting of person from present job to other similar job such job do not involve any change in rank responsibility or prestige the number of person also do not increase with transfers as transfer is done within an organization third point is friends and relatives of employees that can also be said employee referrals or recommendations let's read it current employees of the organization can refer their friends and relatives for some position in their organization so if there is any vacancy employees are asked about their qualified friends and relatives for the post and recruitment is done after the application is received by doing this employees moral is boosted and 
they feel proud to be a part of recruitment process. Fourth point is recalling retrenched employees. Retrenched means those who left the organization. So, employees those who were working previously in the organization and left due to some reasons or joined somewhere else, they can be called again by management seeing their efficiency, experience, skills, knowledge. So, in internal sources, employees can be recalled and asked to join again. Fifth point is promotion with transfer. Here, existing employees get transferred along with promotion to another branch under same management, seeing his skills, efficiency, experience, knowledge. An employee can get transfer to the place of his choice under such circumstances, that is, promotion with transfer. Sixth point is waiting list. Every organization or business unit maintains waiting list. This list shows the name and qualification of candidates who had applied in the past but were not absorbed. So, such list of candidates is useful for a later period. This list saves time and money both as there is no need of giving advertisement in newspapers or to conduct any recruitment process again. So, from this list, candidates can be hired again as per the order of merit. So, here we have completed six points of internal sources. Go through the topic and revise it thoroughly. Thank you.